Hello, everybody. Greetings. It's the gym. Hey, Dave's beer, beer review. review. Yes. You notice how every beer we have, we get more and more excited. Yes. Hey! <laughs> yeah, by the Who'd fourth one, we're like this. But yeah, but like the fourth or fifth one, we're like, hey, yo, how's it going? <laughs> oh, that's a good point, but there's one thing you're not considering. What? Dave! <laughs> What's on tap for this beer review? Um, Sorry, we have. Be, I know you saw it coming last time, so I had to like, be sneaky. Yeah. I was being like a ninja with the Dave! <laughs> Yeah, wait, my ear's hurting. Oh, I'm sorry. We Let's have kiss and make it better. Stop that, man, you weirdo. I'm comfortable with my sexuality. I'm not. Because I like women. I like the the VJ. Long time. Uh... Awkward moment. <laughs> we have dogfish brewing here. We got the wood aged bitches brew. Wood aged bitches brew. Sup, bitches brew. Oh, wow. Okay, we got nine point, we got nine ABV. Nine. Nice. We got IBU of 38. Uh, why of 38? The IBUs are 38. IBU, so it's not said It IBU. said the bitches is back. Only this time we aged it in our oak and palo tanks. Oak and palo tanks. An off center twist of our classic bitches brew. What aged bitches brew is still the same old. Dark imperial stout that you would know to love. It says here, originally brewed in honor of the 40th anniversary of the release of Miles Davis's 1970 landmark jazz fusion record, Bitches Brew. Uh -huh. Our remix is a gustatory tribute to the analog masterpiece. Gustatory? Gustatory. 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 Mom, I mean, a mix of traditional. That's a spicy beer. A mix, a mix of traditional American. Oh, sorry, African mead and English stout. This slow-burning sipper grooves with the chocolate and caramel and charcoal. The Wall Street Journal. Charcoal. Hmm. Charcoal. Interesting. There's a whole bunch more to right here. Um, much like Jazz Fusion, which blends different musical styles, our Wood Age Bitches Brew is a fusion of three threads of Imperial Stout aged in oak and one thread of Thai, a native African honey beer oh. aged on Plato. 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 <laughs> the result is a roasty brew chock full of aromas of vanilla, licorice, and chocolate. Well, you'll find notes of sweet coast, sweet roast coffee, and every in every sip, it's slightly dry in the mouthfeel with a mild bitterness that makes it a perfect sipper. Okay, that was a lot of words. There's still more, but I'm not going through the rest of them. It's going to go on and on and on. All right. Well, you want to jump right into it? Let's do it. I had one last night, just just to let you know. I actually bought a six pack, and I was like, "Ooh, six pack." Okay. Mm. Actually, it almost smells like a porter. <sighs> got that kind of dry Puerto Rican. It was really good last night. Give me a buzz off of one beer. Oh. I was like, hey, how's it so going? why are we each having one? We only drink half. I know, but <laughs> you don't, I'll take your beer if you don't want the rest of it. Oh, me. I'm just <laughs> joshing you. What do you think, man? Yes, bulls. Uh, well, darkest night, typical stout, and a tan colored head. It smells good, man. I don't detect anything. A little metallic smell. Here we go, peeps. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Very nice, very fresh. Mm. I was uh, fortunate to be at a friend's house mm. who had samples for over mm. five years. Mm. And the second to last year was a little on the uh, sour side. But the uh, oldest one better. was probably the best. It was very smooth. This is good? You yeah. like this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Has a little bit of a tanginess that's kind of odd. Tang. Not crazy about that in the aftertaste. Or Tang. Quite frankly, from any style. Tang. Dang. A little bit of uh, alcohol on the back end. Nothing too uh, extraordinary, though. Dang. Um, the flavor profile is very... Do I get a lot of oak? I don't know. Do I... I don't think I really get a lot of oak out of this. Um, trying to figure out what that flavor was. You probably said it. I just don't remember what you said. Oh, it's, it might be the honey. Stop. Honey flavor. Yeah, it's good, man. I like this a lot. Yeah. I'm going to give it an 8.25. Mm. 
I'm gonna give it a six point seven five. I think it needs to age. I think it probably you be... gave that beer we had before better than this. Eh, it's apples and oranges. I'm very. That was my first one of that, and I liked it. You gave that I've better had, than this. I've had many different stouts, wow. imperial stouts. I thought you at least give it a seven. Wow, well, I'm, seven. I'm really hey, you not, can give it what you want, but I'm just like, wow. I'm not digging the aftertaste too much. It's a little on the metallic side for me, or maybe it's citrus. Uh, uh, maybe something to do with the honey. I think you want to get a Budweiser now. <laughs> <laughs> Bite your tongue, sir. <laughs> You get huh. nothing but a Budweiser next. I'm going to be drinking a water good bottle day. <laughs> I say good night. <laughs> You're no more. I said good day, sir. <laughs> I said good no, night, sir. You're in trouble now. Oh, I'm kidding. I'll give it a 10. Did not give it a 10? You no, put six and a half? My God, it's six yeah. and a half. That's bad. No, it's delicious going down. I'm just not crazy about the aftertaste. Like I said, you got to eat this for about two years, I think. I say this because I've been at vertical tasting. Now, having said that, I really like Dogfish Head a lot. Uh, they do a lot of, uh, well, off-center beers, as I believe they call it. I saw a video where um, Mr. Uh, Caglione. Mr. Green is that, is that how you say his name? Mr. Green Jeans? Uh, the founder. He was actually interviewing and talking to the founder of the American Home Brewers Association. Uh, mm -hmm. Forget that gentleman's name. He's retiring from the association this year, I believe giving the keynote address at their uh, conference out west, though. And uh, they started brewing something. Well, uh, one of his employees was brewing something, and then they started taking uh, bread, and they started throwing all this bread into the brew, and then they went to, much like the uh, founder of the American Home Brewers Association back in the day, grabbing stuff out of the cabinet and throwing that all in. And they didn't really follow up with how the beer turned out, because obviously they probably released a video before the beer was finished. But mm -hmm. I thought, that's kind of a cool way to do things. And speaking of bread, I've seen, like, there's all recipes where you take bread and you put bread into the, uh, um, you grow it in a bag, you throw it in the bag for the... Darn rich bitches. So good. 8.25. So that was something I wanted to try. I guess that's something you're supposed to try with old bread, not necessarily fresh bread. bread but I like bread. Well, bread Weed. is basically, you know, from what? Flour. Flour comes from wheat and uh, malts and stuff like that, so... I could see getting fermentable sugars. Like, you know, it's like when you want to have chocolate cake. Yep. It's like having for breakfast. You got eggs. You know, you got you got you got flour. You, you know, it's just like that. Well, apparently, there's all kinds of fun things you can put in the beer to make it interesting. Bill Cosby was awesome at one time. I'll go down now. Well, if you believe uh, how long he's been doing this, apparently he was never awesome. I wonder how, how long has he been doing this. He was on the show in the 60s when we were born. So it was he did. So the, 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 the guy who that was in The Greatest American Hero. He, yeah. he was on the, the I Spy. I Spy, was right. Yeah. yeah. Which I, re I remember being aware of. I can't say I could actually ever see any episodes. Maybe no, I've seen a few of them. I remember watching a few of them. Robert Culp. That was the guy. Robert Culp. Yeah, he was awesome. He, he, did, he, he died recently or so. A year well, or he ago. seemed old back then to me, so... Yeah, well, he was old back in the sixties, and then he got in, in the and when he did the greatest American hero in the eighties, he was like older, and then he like died in two thousand eight or two thousand ten or something like that. And I was like, oh my god, and that guy's still around. Well, so there you have it. Eight from Dave, uh, six point seven five from me. Uh, I like it. I bought. I got three more downstairs aging. We'll try them out in a year from now. Let's do it. See if we're any better. Well, try one a year from now. Another one a year from now. All right. Get, year get from some every that. year. We'll do a vertical tasting too. One year after the other. Because that was pretty awesome, that vertical tasting. Mm hmm But otherwise, very good beer. I do recommend you try I could do I some would buy this tasting. beer. I could do some candy vertical tastings. I got one that's four years old, one that's three years old, one that's two years old, one that's one year old, one that I just got last week. Nice. That sounds like a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We love you very much. And the Surgeon General says that women who are pregnant should not drink alcoholic beverages due to the risk of birth defects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You uh, should not operate heavy machinery or drive a vehicle. Vehicle? That's car, van, and truck. A vehicle. Don't know what that big word is. And uh, excessive drinking can cause health problems. And the reason we try these different beers is we believe that you, our viewer, should drink great beers. And have your laboratory friends with your friends. And you can be our friend by subscribing to our channel and giving us like a thumbs up or thumbs down on this video. If there's something you'd like us to see it's different or, some, or there's another uh, uh, variable you don't think we addressed, we would sure love to hear from you. 
Dave and I don't usually talk about like webbing on the glass and uh, such and such stuff like that because, well, for us, it comes down to the flavor. Bricks! And, uh... Wow. We love you. Long time. I don't know about that. Wow. Black Panther's outperformed Star Wars. Hey, Lord, bye, bye, bye.